bicycle suspension has improved in leaps and bounds over the last few decades. We've moved from simple elastomer dampers to very advanced hydraulic cartridge dampers that offer incredible levels of adjustability and performance. The Cannondale Lefty is a standout chassis design and has actually been in production since 1999. This suspension strut, as it's technically not a fork, has always intrigued me as it actually brings about some significant benefits. Now, if you're sitting there thinking the lefty is weird, consider that the wheels on your car only attach to one side, so perhaps this design is more normal than not. In this video, we will talk about all things lefty and why this chassis might just be the future of suspension design. I also want to take you on a journey of other promising designs to better understand the principles behind the progress in this space. I've decided to focus on short travel products as there are many misconceptions and I think the design solutions here are especially fascinating. I'll cover the long travel lefty suspension in a separate video because, well, things get pretty weird. But first, why should a bike use suspension? The grip, stability and control. On rougher surfaces, be it a gravel road or trail, the front suspension helps the tyre maintain contact with the ground. This is especially noticeable when you're cornering and braking. It also helps to reduce the impact force on your hands. As a result, you do not need to grip the bars as tight, allowing for more effortless steering over bumps. The higher comfort and reduced fatigue. Vibrations coming up from the road or trail will dissipate in your body, causing fatigue. This manifests as discomfort, including muscle soreness and hand numbness. When we graph bicycle vibration with a rigid fork, it looks something like this. The horizontal axis shows the frequency in hertz, which is the number of vibration cycles that the fork completes in one second. The vertical axis shows the amplitude, which is more or less the severity of the vibrations. As you can see from the graph, suspension can very effectively reduce the vibration severity at low frequencies, but we see smaller differences as we get into the higher frequencies. The faster speeds and better efficiency. A bike with suspension often rolls over an object more easily, therefore maintaining speed. This is because the suspension components, which include your tyres, can absorb more of a bump, meaning your bike and body will lift up and down much less. This is in fact an energy saving for your legs on flat and uphill gradients. Okay, let's now take a close look at the lefty design. The lefty is not only single-legged, but it's also upside down. So why has Cannondale persisted with this chassis design for so long? Weight for weight, lefties are lab-tested to be both stiffer and stronger than typical suspension fork designs. This is in part thanks to the fact that they're upside down, which positions the thickest and stiffest portion of the lefty where leverage is greatest, the head tube. Additionally, the lower assembly, which includes the axle, is forged and machined out of a single chunk of aluminium to further maximise the stiffness to weight ratio. Lefties can be smoother and more sensitive too, which is especially important on short travel products as they firm up so rapidly. Regular forks with round tubes often move on four plastic or Teflon lined metal bushings which are the main contact points between the upper and lower assemblies. These bushings experience friction that needs to be overcome when the fork moves into its travel, and they even bind a bit as the fork flexes. In comparison, the lefty slides up and down on one set of needle bearings and just one bushing. These bearings can still roll and move as the lefty flexes, allowing the suspension to better track over big and edgy bumps in particular. Cannondale says there is around 140% less friction when static and 75% less when the fork is moving. You might be wondering how the wheel tracks straight with only one leg. 
The secret is found high in the upper assembly where three needle bearing surfaces create a triangle in triangle interface that prevents the shaft from rotating. Like any air spring fork, you can easily adjust the spring stiffness with a shock pump and a hydraulic damper provides precise control over the lefty's movement up and down. Okay, so if the lefty is such a great design, why is it so uncommon? Ultimately, the price is very high compared to a regular fork due to the intensive manufacturing process and small product volumes. This makes spare parts uncommon and the maintenance needs to be conducted at Cannondale service centers. But I must say, having had a few lefties over the years, I've found them to all work exceptionally. I especially enjoyed riding the Oliver gravel fork, which shocked me with how just 30 millimeters of travel could add so much grip and control when things got rough. Unlike most suspension systems, the Oliver isn't designed to sag into its travel, so it feels firmer off the top than most forks. This is to ensure the suspension doesn't bob on smoother surfaces. However, the downside to this firm tune is that the suspension does a poor job of absorbing high frequency vibration, which we verified in a cycling about comfort lab test. Christoph actually found virtually zero difference between the lefty being locked and unlocked at 35 km per hour on a fast gravel road. Let's now put Cannondale's lefty to the side and discuss an all new carbon fiber lefty that can handle high frequency vibration. But first, if you're interested in bike travel, you might like my touring and bikepacking bike buyer's guides. These guides teach you everything about the bikes and equipment before allowing you to compare hundreds of bikes at the back of the books. The best bit is that they're updated yearly for free. In terms of feel, the Motion La City is almost the opposite of the Lefty Oliver. This comfort-oriented product is easily the most sensitive suspension system I've ever tested. In fact, there is so little friction that I was constantly checking my front tire hadn't gone flat. The secret to its sensitivity is that there are no seals, air springs, dampers, or bushings to create friction. Instead, a small carbon leaf spring and linkage do all the work. Interestingly, the carbon spring is pulled rather than compressed, which allows the suspension to be ultra soft off the top before firming right up. As a result, your bike glides over small bumps. There's also an anti-dive link that helps to isolate any braking forces, preventing the suspension from bogging down under hard braking. The La City is incredibly light. When built into a carbon single strut chassis, this 50 mm travel fork is just one kilogram, but the spring and link can be built into a fork with a second hollow leg that suits regular front wheels too. The beauty of a simple and elegant design like this is not its weight, but the fact it requires virtually zero maintenance. This is perfect for hardworking commuter, bikepacking and fleet bikes. Okay, the La City sounds pretty amazing, so what are the downsides? There is no adjustability and no lockout switch either, so the suspension will bob while you pedal. There is also no damper element, which would normally prevent a fork from bouncing uncontrollably. This might sound like a recipe for extreme bounciness. However, I never found the La City to feel overwhelmed within its intended use. You can just sit down, pedal along, and enjoy its comfort. There's another interesting leaf spring carbon fork design that I'd now like to show you. The Lauf Grit SL employs 12 glass fiber springs to provide 30 millimeters of maintenance-free travel, all in an impressively light 850 gram package. Like the La City, there is no lockout switch no adjustability, and no damper. So after a few intense impacts, you might have to deal with some excess energy built up in the springs. The Grit SL is, therefore, best for gravel roads rather than rough trails. Like the Cannondale Lefty, this fork doesn't seem to attenuate vibration better than a rigid carbon fork on fast gravel roads, 
In fact, according to our data, the best rigid fork might actually provide a marginally smoother ride at 35 km per hour on a gravel road. To understand how a rigid fork can possibly provide a more comfortable ride than a suspension fork, we now need to understand what happens when your front wheel encounters bumps. Upon impact, your fork, be it rigid or suspended, compresses backwards and rebounds forwards. This fore-aft movement is sometimes referred to as splay, and a high degree of it can be quite effective at damping vibrations. According to data from Specialized, splay can make you faster up to a certain surface roughness, where suspension forks become more effective. This data is backed up by a bicycle quarterly test that found a fork with lots of splay can be as fast as a suspension fork on a rumple strip test. But it's important to note that the Grit SL still offers great comfort on fast gravel roads, and you get the advantage of extra grip, control, and comfort on rougher surfaces. Okay. So what if we wanted the high splay of a carbon rigid fork, the sensitivity of a motion leaf spring, and the damping system, needle bearings, and lockout of a lefty? We would end up with the high ride sterra. You might have seen this suspension fork featured on the BMC Urs LT gravel bike, but it's also available as a separate product. The Stera has the aesthetic of a carbon fork, and that's because the lower legs are indeed made from carbon fibre. But it's inside the Stera where the real magic happens. The fork Stera is home to a coil spring, as well as a hydraulic cartridge damper that controls the speed of the spring up and down. This unit offers just 20 millimetres of travel, which suits the surface roughness of gravel roads and can be surprisingly effective at isolating you from larger impacts too. However, it's on fast gravel roads with high frequency vibration where this fork shines. Most short travel suspension products employ air springs, which are easy to adjust to your body weight and riding style. However, the many seals of an air spring add to the overall friction. So High Ride designed the Stera with a coil spring and smooth needle bearings to keep friction to a minimum. In the Cycling About Comfort Lab tests, coil spring products are consistently the most effective at damping vibration. Notable products include the Redshift Seat Post, Connect Stem, and Specialized Future Shock. While the Stera is not as sensitive as the Motion Fork, it is designed to run with sag, so it will not require the same big impact to get moving as the lefty. And when you don't need the suspension travel, you can transform this fork into a rigid one with the simple twist of the lockout dial. Interestingly, the fork blades offer a similar amount of splay to the most comfortable fork in our Comfort Lab tests. According to Tour Magazine data, the open U-turn is nearly identical in a fore-aft deflection test, adding comfort and likely speed outside of the suspension system. The carbon fork blades are also much more aerodynamic than a fork with round tubes and offer an aesthetic that better matches a gravel bike. As the moving components of the Stera are all sealed away and hidden from the elements, service intervals are three to five times longer than most suspension forks too. You can optimize this fork for your body weight and riding style with multiple spring rates and preload spaces. So, are lefties the future of bicycle suspension tech? I suspect we'll see more single strut products in the future. While the weird looks might put off some, the chassis is undoubtedly stiff, light, high performing and well proven too. And the reduction in static and moving friction is a big benefit for a short travel application. Watch out for lefties with increased sensitivity to high speed vibration as manufacturers further optimize their products around gravel and road use. Leaf spring designs like the Motion La City actually suit a lefty chassis perfectly as the linkage occupies so little space. 
It's cool that the leaf spring designs don't require any maintenance either. Right, make sure to like this video and subscribe to Cycling About, and I'll be able to show you the weird long travel lefty options.